Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. I gotta tell you that if you were building a car and you had, say, two years and $100,000, I think this is what you'd end up with. Because first off, you get so many of the great things of old school, like the style that comes in a GTO. Tell anybody that you own an old school GTO, and instantly you have a new friend, lots of conversation, all about, hey, I had this in the past, I rode in one of those in college, or I had one in high school, it was an old car, or it was a Tempest, it wasn't really a GTO. This is a real GTO, all right? Not only is it a real GTO, it's a real GTO that's taken to the nth degree. And it's the kind of car that you may want to enjoy even more so than the regular stock ones because you can take this on a really long drive. So we're gonna run around a lot of the features on this car. This has two pages, okay, of things on it. Colin did a great job putting the description together. I know that makes him happy when I give him a shout out because he's doing a great job. So I'm trying to keep him promoted as well. So if you do, uh, his Facebook page, He's doing that. If you just give him a little like on there, say good job, Colin. He'll really feel good about that. He's only uh, 11, uh, even though he's six foot like 19. All right. So uh, we got off the subject of the car itself, and now we're going to get back into the car. And back into the car means paint. Fifteen thousand dollars worth of paint here. You need to come up and you need to look around the paint and see how cool this is. Carbon fiber weave all over the top of this car here. All right. Can you imagine how long this took to do? All right, all new body panels, new chrome, grill, stainless, custom lamps in here. Uh, it goes on and on. We normally like to show the, the, the quality of paint. Of course, you can see how shiny and deep color it is in there, but you really can't see uh, the words, and the words being clear are so important to you because that says to me they have great paint because pictures can lie about cars. You want to make sure somebody does a video. So go over here and go on the side of the car and check that out. See how each letter, nice and crisp and clear. All right, and since we're here, let's look at some detail stuff that's really expensive. For instance, instead of putting a GTO badge on, right, somebody airbrushed this complete emblem on there. That's a pretty cool piece when you think about it. These shot wheels, all right, with big brakes all the way around. So there's cross drilled, they're slotted, they're four wheel disc brakes, all right, the huge wheels and tires all listed on here as well. Um, once we get under the hood, we'll see the motivation, but you're gonna need those brakes and those wheels and tires for the drivetrain that comes in here. All right, so listen, let's say it was a GTO coupe. It'd be an awesome car, but the fact of the matter is it's a GTO convertible. And that is even rarer, because very few GTO convertibles are made compared to coupes, and this goes even beyond all that. So, nice stuff like a real power convertible top. Custom boot to match it. It's made of the canvas, it's not vinyl, with snaps sewn in all the way around, all right? Custom mats to match it as well. All right, you say, well, what? What's the big deal about custom mats? You're right, no big deal about custom mats, but I had to order the correct carpet color. I had to order this correct color as well to finish up this car. I had to order special binding that matches the color of the outside of the car. I had to come over and have somebody measure them, have them come over and sew them all together, uh, come back, fit them, make sure all that happens. That's why mats are such a big deal because then just, you don't just call up and say, hey, listen, I need some two-tone mats for 65 Pro Touring GTO convertible. You got them in stock? No, you don't got them in stock. This is what I'm talking about. You're getting a cool car that you can have some fun with. One of the questions you might say, well, Tone, this is a great looking car, and I love the panels, the fit and fish, the fit and finish. This cute, great piece, it's custom painted inside and airbrushed like that. This is the detail stuff you need to look at. More importantly, this car has been completely clear coated after all of these intricate pieces were done to the car, so you can't even feel any of the stripes, the lines, the decals, all that stuff. Uh, and that'll make it last a lot longer when you wash and wax the car. So you want to get in the car and you're like, well, uh, where's the door handles? Again, a custom touch, very expensive to do. These are custom molded in. Put your thumb right here, push that. Look at that, boom. Looks nice and flush. I just thought it was a great piece. All right, let's keep rolling around. Look at the size of these wheels and tires, man. Big, fat, big, fat tire, big, fat rubber. Slotted brakes in there. You can see all the new suspension in back. Coil over rear suspension back there, right? These are 18s and 20s, all right, made by Shot. You can see them online. Probably four grand for a set of just the wheels alone, custom made for these. Multi piece as well. Um, I don't know if you can see all the custom uh, suspension parts that are inside there, but since you may or may not be able to, let's come around the back and see. New floor pans have been welded in the car. The underneath of this car is beautiful. You need to see the underneath of this car, man. Come check this out. Look at that big sway bar hanging down there. It's got a full suspension in it, all right? Heavy duty rear end, new gas tank, new lines, all that stuff. 
car, th the reason it has all that is because this car is fuel injected to it and requires a special fuel tank versus a carburetor car so it has a return for the fuel, all right? This is completely done as well. Airbrushed on here, GTO. We keep rolling around the car and we do have some really, really great style. Look at the fit and finish on the doors. The gaps look good. Fender gaps look good. A lot of new sheet metal on here. Just an enormous amount of money spent and I'm rambling on and rambling on. But when you build a car like this, if you have two years and 100 grand, this is how you end up. But this is why you buy a car like this. Somebody drove it for a little while, has a few test miles on it. They showed the car for uh, a year or two, and now they're ready to get something else. And so now it's your turn to finally get something. And this is the kind of car that you could take a couple out to dinner in, uh, take the kids someplace in it, go for a great drive, you drive to the beach, whatever. That's the kind of car. All right, so uh, before I open it, man, how great is this scoop, huh? 99% of the world will know this is a GTO scoop right away because that is such a great styling piece of this car. All right. Okay, I'm getting winded, man. All this stuff to talk about on this car and the detail. All right, so let's say you uh, said to your body and paint guy, hey, listen, man, I want to do that whole uh, pattern that we talked about on the car on the outside. I loved it so much. Can you do it on the inside? Oh, yeah, for another three or four grand. We'll do it on the inside too. Oh, boom. Huh. Done on the inside as well. The underneath of the hood, but it's not done the whole hood, which is cool. Only the bracing of the hood's done, not in here. This is painted, wet sanded, buff. The firewall's done and it's smoothed out. You notice there's no hoses, holes, or anything on the firewall because now it has a modern HVAC system uh, that you can have finalized as well. So here's the serpentine belt system, the polished air conditioning compressor right here, right? Uh, they call that DuraShine for the intake manifold. I'm sorry if you didn't notice the aluminum heads, let me point them out to you. Edelbrock aluminum heads. All the good stuff going on here, man, right? Color matched uh, valve covers and air cleaner, Optima battery. Look at the size of this radiator, too. Check this out. This is called a radiator cooling module. And the difference is it's not just a radiator with an electric fan bolted on. It's a radiator as a unit. And this unit right here is a shroud with the two fans built in. It's exactly the way I would order something because you know what? I want to cruise this car, and I don't want to... I'll be sitting in traffic in the car overheat. I want to know for a fact that those fans are working, that radiator is big. This motor right here is 460 plus cubic inches with fuel injection, with aluminum heads, with guts inside the engine. This thing makes a lot of power, right? A lot of power. Those cars can generate heat and that eliminates all that concern by doing it the right way. The reason I spend the time to show you this and ramble on and ramble on and ramble on is because glazing over the car we build these things all the time. This is expensive stuff, man. The hinges alone, the hinges alone can be over $1,000 for hinges, right? A regular hinge, just to give you an idea, is 60 bucks. 60 bucks for a regular hinge for this hood. That's how you know somebody put a lot of time and money and a lot of detail into it, okay? All right. This is kind of cool. I wanted you guys to see this here. Check this out. That's for the uh, lug nut there for the big wheels. Look how beautiful the trunk is. All brand new sheet metal, all custom built. Okay, all this right goes inside like that. All painted under here like it's supposed to. The reason I'm rambling on about the trunk so much is that if you know you went to a car show or something like that, you're gonna to wanna to open the trunk, open the hood, those kinds of things and show them off. This just shows the level of the detail that somebody else has done already. Oh, one other thing. Check out this brake light molded into the trunk. This special Pontiac airbrushed in, GTO airbrushed in. All right, so come on in. And the reason I want you to come on in is because this is where you're gonna spend most of your time, all right? Full custom dash, check this out, man. This is really nicely done. Molded in speakers here, here, in the back, okay? Custom interior, right? Custom console with storage in here, check this out. The controller for the fuel injection unit, if you want to change some of the parameters of it, maybe you want it to uh, come on sooner, the power, maybe you want the shifts to be different, whatever, you can program all that through there. That's the wheel lock key, right? Special wheel locks, all right? Um, JVC digital sound system with uh, satellite, navigation. Um, if you want, we can add a backup camera to it. I don't know if it has it in it already. I'm sorry, I don't remember everything about this car because there was so much stuff. Uh, but it's great. Anyway, uh, auto meter gauges, you can see from there, I'm hoping Colin can show you how cool they are lit up. And then you have things like uh, tilt steering, all right? Custom matched steering wheel. This is billet as well, okay? And then uh, 
all the ancillary stuff like turn signals, lights, brakes, all that good stuff working like it should. The shifter is awesome. It's designed uh, to throw it in drive if you want to, and if you don't want to, and you want to, to drive it hard, you, the way it works, you just, you just smack it. Okay, it can only go to second, pull it again, it can only go to third. You can't miss a shift, it's impossible. It can't go too far or too little, and uh, with this kind of power, you definitely want some control. All right, so I'm getting out of your car now. And I want to close up this video with just a couple, couple of highlights that I think that, uh, that might make a difference here. So I was running down this list of things I was saying to myself, you know, it's got the, the polished engine compartment, it's got the, uh, the fuel injection, the aluminum heads, killer sound to the interior, awesome paint, uh, and all of the accoutrements, the stuff that you can't see, like a, like a completely redone suspension, the big wheels and tires that makes the car handle really nicely, the sway bars that are on there, they make it ride well and handle as well too. And the coil over suspension and uh, the March serpentine belt system on the front there, it's all polished and good looking. I don't know, man, I, sorry. I get excited, it's a cool car. You couldn't build this car for anywhere near what you can buy it for right now. And that's why it's such an awesome, awesome piece. So if you can find a way to get a really, really cool uh, GTO Pro Touring Convertible in your life, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. Anyway, one of the great things about this car, first off, it's, it's it's a lot of power, but secondly, it's so well managed and built. Like for instance, the fuel injector, you just turn the key, it fires right up. Uh, and the drivetrain is matched to everything together. It's just, uh, just anyway, sh silence, silence! Okay, sorry, I kill you. Okay, I... Look at that, boom.